So we're back with Bo, so... Anyway, so same thing, that my problem is, and you can, you, Bo, you can see where I'm at with this dog. The dog is, if someone brought this dog to me for training at this stage right now, I would, I, I think, fairly quickly identify the problem as being, it, he doesn't understand not to make the leash tight, so... You know, it's, it's a fine line. Again, remember, I want the dog to see I'm treating him with the positive regard. Bo! Oh, precious little dog. So I spun him around right there. And I'll tell you, we're going to get these on a feeding schedule, Summer, because we've been free feeding them, but I stopped doing that yesterday. And you can see they're a little hungrier. I think they came right out and stole the treat. Summer had to pry it out of Bumper's mouth. All right, so, you know, we've got a fine line. What I want is some nice, fancy little healing from these little dogs. All right, so I've got my nick set on zero. Even even if I was going to start doing the I don't want the leash made tight lesson, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be using the nick. Bump or bump. I wouldn't be using the nick the first day anyway. That was just the pager. Tell you, he's got flubber on their feet. Bump, bump. the leash here. I could probably whoop, get him to do it without the without the leash, but my problem whoop, is he doesn't understand not to make the leash tight, so that's why I gotta keep the leash on. Whoop. Oh! So I did, I braced it a little bit, so he did get a little bump there. But just with the pager, just with the pager. You know, the pagers help defining the boundary. Because George, all right, do we need to make you lunch? Yeah. We even provide poor George. He's not used to the people providing lunch. Oh. No, actually, the, some of the customers, like I got the older, the older Well, customers. that's true. You do have some nice customers. Yes. The one guy, Oliver, and him and his wife come out every day and lunch with me at like, like 12 o'clock. They bring out sandwiches and... Uh, We've got to outdo these people. Yeah. Get a bottle of wine. That's awesome. <laughs> No drinking on the job. No, then George would really be George would really be cutting down all my bushes. Where do you want the debris at? We're gonna have to put it up by the road, George. I mean, they're gonna have to okay. haul it away. Okay. Don't they? Don't they still do that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But we gotta pile it up there and keep it close to. Don't put it over by Dave's yard. He gets mad. Remember. Tell you what I've got going on. I've got a dog that's thirsty and wants to go get what. So I'm just going to do a little bit with my down. Because I've been doing the same thing with this one. I've got my foot on there. I'm going to do my pager down. And it's not even that really. It's more me getting an opportunity to add my pager to the dynamic. I'm going to do it one more time. All right, so I want him to understand when he feels a little pressure. I'm just going to keep my hand still. Oh, you little forgetter. And I almost, I almost shot myself in the foot. If he had, if his, head, his butt hadn't gone down right then. I'm just getting his rope. All right, well, let's go out here in the field. Come on, let's go. Now, Buffalo doesn't like to be left in
might get on him, stay on him. I'm going to turn him around. Oh! Precious little dog. I tell you, he's going to head back for that water, though, and I'm going to spin him. Oh! Pretty, pretty little spin. All right, guys, we're going to go and get a little slow-mo of Bo and, and set it to music. My latest music video. Hi, guys.